Well, hello, Yacht fans, and welcome back. So, here we are with another comparison video. And the last time I did a comparison video was on a Nordhaven 52 v a KD Krogan 48. Now, I had a few comments uh, from some disgruntled viewers saying well, it's not, not really a fair comparison because the size and displacement differential between the two. And the reason why that whole video came about is because I was sort of comparing myself which, which sort of um, yacht was the best of myself and my family. Um, and the conclusion I came to is people leaving comments that the shorter size will save a lot on mooring fees. So let's crack on with this next video. And in this next video, I'm going to be compa comparing two vessels that are pretty much similar comparison, really. So you have the... You could go either way with it, really. And these two vessels are the XPM78 Vanguard and the FPB70. These two yachts are very, very similar as you'll see by the stats that are put up on the screen. So basically, let's get into it. So XPM78 has been creating ripples. Well, more like a great big splash after it was featured on naval yachts. So head over to there and take a look. The buzz sparked a spirited discussion comparing it with the, the tried and true FPB70 series designed by Steve and Linda Dashu. Let's get into some hard facts. Firstly, the design philosophy. Did you know the owners of Vanguard initially scrapped the project? They discontinue it, but XPM78 Extreme, which stands for Extreme Passage Maker, the hulls, and pretty much both, the FPB-70 boasts a slightly wider beam and deeper draft over the XPM-78. Vanguard opts for a skinnier profile. Does anyone else think from the stern and the side profile, um, if you get rid of the um, superstructure above it, it looks like a sailing yacht. Um, it's got that same shape as a, a sailing boat. That's just what I think. Comment below what you think. I just pause the video there and just say there is an FPB 78, um, but it is longer in length. In fact, it's another eight feet difference in length. Um, so that's why I chose the FPB 70 as the comparison because it's the same length. So it's not always the case that the last number is um, the exact length of, of the actual vessel itself. Uh, for some reason, FPB 78 is a longer vessel uh, you would have thought they'd put it down as the fpb 86 because it, it's 86 foot point 86.2 feet long so anyway on with the video both hulls target the mca category zero specifications for antarctic and arctic explorations now stability often a marketing figure Hold strong for both, the Vanguard showcasing a unique edge over the other. Vanguard hull is unique due to several distinguishing characteristics when compared to the FPB 70 series. Here's some key features that set the XMP Vanguard hull apart. Number one, advanced hydrodynamics. The XMP Vanguard hull incorporates state-of-the-art hydrodynamic design optimized for performance and efficiency. The design enhances stability, maneuverability and overall seaworthiness, ensuring for a smoother ride and even the challenging sea conditions. Number two, stealth technology integration. XPM78 hull integrates stealth technology elements, reducing its radar cross-section and enhancing its stealth capability compared to the FPB 70s. This feature enhances the vessel's survivability and operational effectiveness in various tactical scenarios. Quite what that would be in a pleasure yacht. Maybe uh, evading the taxman? Who knows? Number three, enhanced speed and range. The XMP Vanguard hull is engineered for high speeds and extended operational range compared to the FPB 70 series. 
This allows for a rapid deployment and extended missions without compromise on performance or fuel efficiency, making it well suited for long range patrols and expeditionary operations. Sounds like it's a sort of a, a naval ship rather than a, a pleasure craft. Um, all, all sort of uh, design stems from the military. Modular design flexibility, number four. The XMP Vanguard hull offers great modular design flexibility, allowing for easier customization and integration of mission-specific equipment and systems. This adaptability enables the vessel to fulfill a wide range of roles, including maritime security, surveillance, special operations support, and humanitarian assistance. Guess it's saying it's, it's a naval or military use first before it came uh, out as a pleasure yacht. Number five, advanced sea keeping capabilities, active stabilization systems, and advanced hull forms, which minimize motion sickness and crew fatigue, even in rough seas. This ensures optimal crew comfort and operational effectiveness during prolonged missions and extended deployments. Overall, the XMP Vanguard hull represents a significant advancement in maritime technology. Incorporating innovative design features and advanced capabilities that set it apart from the FPB 70 series. So let's take a quick look at the key specifications for each vessel. When it comes to speed, both are impressive contenders. XPM 78 boasts a top speed of 14 knots powered by twin 120 horsepower John Deere diesel engine. The XMP78 also has twin 30 kilowatt Praxis high voltage DC propulsion motors which also adds to its extra range over the FPB70. On the other hand, the FPB70 yacht has a slightly lower cruising speed of 11 knots with a top speed of 12.75 knots with two John Deere 4054 AFM 85 M1 engines. While the FPB70 yacht is slightly slower in terms of top speed, the XMP Vanguard offers a competitive cruising speed while a higher cruising speed with greater fuel efficiency. Interesting. Now let's look at the, the range. The XMP Vanguard is designed for extended explorations with a minimum range of 6,000 nautical miles at 10 knots in typical open sea conditions. Meanwhile, the FPB 70 yacht offers an approximate range of 5,000 nautical miles from its two engines at a cruising speed 11 knots. Here, XPM 78 with its impressive range capabilities making it ideal for long range patrols and expeditionary operations. In conclusion, XPM 78 and the FPB 70 yacht are formidable vessels, each offering unique strengths in terms of speed, range and performance. Whether you prioritise speed or endurance, there's no denying these vessels represent the pinnacle of maritime engineering. When you compare the internal um, photographs for both vessels, the XPM 78 has the more contemporary finish, uh, but let's not forget the FPB 70 has a, a, a wider beam. It gives you just over two feet extra space I I internally, uh, which counts for a lot when you're on a long range expedition. You, you want the room to um, spread about a bit, but I mean, these are both two great boats, and let me know what you think down in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.